Good evening and welcome to another episode of Cardinal Sports Live. I'm your host, Michael Estridge. Joining me tonight, Dan Stevenson, Kyle Riggles. Gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? Doing pretty good. Just trying to stay warm, but glad to be here. I'm going to be blunt, Mike. I'm freezing. This, <laughs> this negative 23 degree weather is not, not fun at all. Agreed. Well, it might be hard to believe, but the spring sports have started. And with that, we are going to talk a little baseball tonight. The Cardinals started the season this past weekend playing in the Buffalo Wild Wings battle at the beach in North Carolina. Unfortunately, it wasn't the way the Cardinals wanted to start their season off, losing both games to Kentucky and UNC Williamton. Dan, what happened this past weekend? Honestly, I think uh, the Cardinals didn't thaw out from this Indiana weather. You know, they... <laughs> Went down North Carolina, played the tough Kentucky team in the SEC, lost 11 to seven. They did outscore Kentucky seven to two and scoring five runs in the eighth inning to make it 10-7. But still, it wasn't enough. Zach Plezak started the game going three and two thirds inning, allowing four earned runs and only striking out one. But Sean Kennedy and Alex Call did perform at the plate, both going two for five. Kennedy going with one RBI and two runs. Call going with one run and two RBIs. Coach Maloney did say, though, that he was proud with his freshman pitching against the Wildcats. So that is a plus in the loss. But then again, you got to get the bats going if, if you're going to win your first game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they came out really slow. Like you said, they were down 9 to nothing after just five innings. And they made a couple rallies late but they weren't really able to battle back enough to pick up a win. And Plesak didn't really come out with the performance that we were expecting from him. But the freshman bullpen did kind of pick up the slack a little bit. They com Four freshmen combined for four and, a, four and a third innings, only allowed two earned runs and struck out four batters. But, I mean, really, we just got to work on building up a lot faster and not letting ourselves dig get dug deep in a, d a deep hole. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm sorry, but... Um, you know, going to the UNC Wilmington game, Scott Baker, who was 7-5 of five last year on the mound, only went three and two-thirds inning against UNC Wilmington. But B.J. Butler did come in, going four and a third inning, pitching a shutout in his relief. But still, the bats weren't quiet. The Cardinals only uh, scoring two runs in that game. All right, well, this is definitely a team that, Coming into the year, had a lot of expectations, ranked 31st in the country. Kyle, do you think this team maybe be a, a bit overrated? You know, I don't think they're overrated. It's still really early in, early in the season, obviously, only two games in. Um, these guys just have to kind of learn how to play together as a team better. They lost Godfrey, so, I mean, that's kind of a big chunk out of the offense. But um, I don't think they're overrated at all. Once these guys get going, especially into the conference games, and especially going to this week, and hopefully can pick up some more wins. But I think we'll build some momentum and start picking up wins later on. Yeah, I agree with Kyle. You know, it's only two games in. You still got a lot of games going on. You got Kent State, who is predicted to win the MAC this year. So that's going to be a tough game. Uh, you know, you only lost Godfrey, who was a star player for you last year. But you're bringing back Maloney. You're bringing back Call. You're bringing back. Butler, Kennedy, Plezak, who had a stellar freshman year. So I really think this team isn't overrated. I can just see they just need to get the um, momentum going. Also, with little predictions, this was also a team that was picked to win the Mac West. Do we see that happening, Dan? I do. I really do. I mean, as I said, you're bringing back all your players. You're bringing back all the players I said earlier. And you're bringing in freshmen that can bring that momentum in. And also, you're defending a MAC, MAC title, so you're going to have that going for you, to a little boost of confidence going into the season. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, like I said, we started out kind of slow, but once we pick things up, I think we can really start moving and um, not dig ourselves deep in a hole, but I think we can pick up another MAC championship or a MAC West win. Um, but yeah, it's just, we just got to do a lot, um, build more consistency pitching-wise get those uh, veterans in, do a lot better job, but I think we can pull it out. All righty, Sean Goffrey, who was drafted in the 22nd round to the Atlanta Braves, led the team in home runs, doubles, slugging percentage, and also RBIs. Guys, how, how do you replace a guy like this who had been so good for so many years here? You know, that's something you really can't really replace. You know, you think of like LeBron James leaving the Miami Heat. You can't really replace him. You've got to look for the next guy up. 
But in that position, I think that Alex Call, the sophomore, will come up and kind of take up the leadership um, position for that. He went four for nine over the weekend. He's leading the team right now in batting average. He was on a freshman All-America team last year. And with this past weekend, he has now reached base safely in 44 straight games. So I think he'll be the one to look forward to moving forward and to uh, take up a big leadership role. Yeah, I agree. I think it's the next man up mentality. It could be, you know, call. It could be um, Caleb, but it could even be a freshman. So it's too early to tell on who is going to be that Sean Goffrey in this season. All right. Well, the Cardinals have a stretch. The Cardinals have a have a tough stretch of games this weekend, where they'll be playing four games in three days. Do the Cardinals get it right and get back on track going into this weekend? I think so, because you know they're getting the swing. They're getting the swing of things of playing baseball again. You know they've they got two games out of the way, two tough games. Now the UNC Wilmington game, yes, they should have won that game, but you put up a fight against an SEC opponent in Kentucky. So when you play High Point in Ellington or Ellen, excuse me, I think that'll be a little confidence boost. I think they just need to get the bats going, keep the defense, pitching needs to stay up. I'm where it needs to be, and I think you get the wins this weekend. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, we play high point on Friday and Saturday. Those, I mean, they're a decent team, but I think we can pull out with wins there. Elon is going to be our big battle. They won all three games over Penn State over the weekend. They scored 34 runs through their first three games. And Chris King, he won their conference player of the week. He batted 7 for 13 with three doubles, a home run, and eight RBI. So that's going to be a big challenge for us, but hopefully we can get the bats moving and pick up some wins. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here in Studio B, but make sure to tune in next week for another episode of Cardinal Sports Live Web Show. I'm your host, Michael Usher, and remember, we are Ball State Sports.